Parfait. Come. Sit. Lay down. Stay. 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 Get the treat. Good boy. It's fun to teach our dogs tricks and a great ways with treats. We find a dog bakery in Frisco that's making organic dog treats that are real healthy for your dog. Let's check them out. So JT, tell me about the start. Like what got you into your involvement with the dog barkery and your interest in making organic dog treats? Sure. Um, well, first and foremost, I think anybody that is in the pet industry has to have a love of pets. Um, for me, I love all pets. I just tend not to be allergic to dogs, so that's where my passion lies. Um, for many years, I baked my own treats for my dogs, um, volunteered at the local shelters, um, and through that process have four lovely dogs um, that now take up all of my time and decided it was a good transition when I was laid off um, in 2009 from my career. Um, since I had the love of pets, I had the passion for baking treats um, and an experience in boutique. I was a regional manager um, for retail boutiques. It seemed like a natural fit to kind of do my own thing. Excellent, and I've actually tasted some of your, <laughs> some of your treats, and they're not bad. Uh, what is it that you do with your treats that are different, uh, and it, why does it why is it so good for the dogs? Sure, um, and, and you're not the only one that has uh, that has tried the <laughs> treats, um, and I won't reveal any names. We actually have a client who purchases our ginger treats as treats for herself in addition to her dog. Um, so I think that the biggest thing that is different in our treats is that everything is going to be organic. It's all going to be sourced in the U.S. Um, so I can tell you, for instance, where the you know organic quinoa flour comes from or the brown rice flour, the different things that we use as a base for our treats. Um, the other thing you won't find is a lot of fillers. There's all non-GMO products in there, so they're definitely just a, a cut above. Um, and they're just great quality for pets. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, so what are some of the, the what are some of the items that you've made today that you have? Sure, um, we have several pastry items that, that are made on a daily basis. Um, one of my favorite for summer is a, it's actually a gluten-free vanilla cake. Um, we call it Ooh. our tri triple berry vanilla. It's got uh, the summer berries in it: blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, um, and a great vanilla cake. What makes our, our dog treats a little different, that happens to be one of my favorites to eat with a cup of coffee, but there's no added sugar or salt in them. So maybe not to you or I, and some people might think it's a little bit bland. Um, also, cheddar apple muffins, blueberry muffins, um, and my favorite is actually our pumpkin spice muffin that's coming up for fall, and we're gearing up to make those again. Excellent. Now you're, you're living the dog culture all the way around, from, from your business to your home, uh, and you were just talking about volunteering. Uh, how did you get involved in, in volunteering? And that's something that we've, we've talked about before in our show. Sure, absolutely. I think um, just having anybody that has a drive for, for pets and, and for community and looking for a way to get involved, I went down to the local shelter. Um, I come across one of my friends who had been volunteering for about five years, and I said, hey, I want to get involved. And I literally just went down to the shelter, found out the process, um, and was able to then go through training and kind of pick and choose the different tasks and things that I really wanted to learn about and to do. Excellent. So that's a big part of your, your life also. Absolutely. You have four dogs? Four dogs. Um, four very spoiled dogs. I'd imagine. <laughs> uh, yeah, though they, eh, they don't get everything. As you can imagine, it'd be a little overkill, but they are great taste testers when we do new products. Um, and I tend to give them just our grain-free treats that we do. Um, and they get good, good antler chews and different things like that, but I try not to go overboard because it's really easy to do so. Yeah, excellent. Um, anything else that you can tell us about your, your business and your, your dog lifestyle? Sure, I mean, I think the, the biggest thing about the business is we have a love of pets, we have a love of people, and it's uh, for us about community. Um, and you know, American dog culture, I think, is a, is a, great, is a great phrase there that you're using, because it really is becoming a, a new culture. Um, you know, different cities allowing dogs on patios, really kind of, you know, interacting with your pet, taking them place through the places, through training. Um, so one of the things that we do in our business here is we, we you know, we host events where people can bring their dogs. Um, leashed dogs that are well behaved, of course, um, but it does give people an outlet to really kind of interact in the community. Um, and also we do different things with different rescue groups where we host adoptions on site because we still believe that is the best way to get a pet. Um, we don't want to support any puppy mills, and there are so many great rescue organizations out there that if you're looking for a specific breed, it's not hard to find. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Absolutely. And uh, we'll see you around. Excellent. Thank, thank you. Thank you.
When we come back, we check out an educational nature park that is not only teaching visitors about plants and wildlife, but it's a great place to walk your dogs. Stay with us.